Welcome back to Fantasy Football Overload. I'm Eric Butts. I'm Jim Butts. And we are getting you ready for your Fantasy Football Championship. At the headquarters. Football. At the headquarters. The real headquarters. Not at the, the studio. studio anymore. At the headquarters. <laughs> if you saw it was behind you guys this way, there's stuff going on. This yeah. is going to get bigger and bigger and eventually be somewhere that we broadcast from pretty consistent. Absolutely. Until then, we're just going to give you some good fantasy info. Don't bring your head close to the camera. I am now looking tiny next to you. I'll, I'll move up a little bit so yeah. your head looks all right. Uh, so we got now the running backs that you should be looking to pick up. Everybody wants to know who's that running back that I might be able to pick up, sneak in for my 10 to 15 points, win me my fantasy football That's league, right. Jim. Who's the number one guy you think can sneak in and get you 10 to 15? I'm going Khalil Bell. Marion Barber fumbled, made a dumb play. You can see already that they're not playing him. They sat him. They gave Khalil Bell most of the chances this week. Lovey Smith, Mike Martz, they're mean people. <laughs> so, Jim, did you lie to the guy who called him Block Talk? No. Did you I, have Donald Brown? Well, on? Donald Brown's already on a team. Uh, I, don't, I don't think Donald Brown's getting picked up. Got it. I just thought uh, you were screwing with Detroit. No, guy. no. I, if Donald Brown's available, I pick up Donald Brown. Okay. But Donald Brown's been consistent over the past four weeks, so I'm assuming that he's picked up in your league. If he's not picked up, of course, pick him up. But, you know, for what's available now, I think Khalil Bell's the number one guy. You know my guy, Jim. I'm stacking with him, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith. I think Kevin Smith at home against San Diego. Yes, San Diego looked very good against the Ravens last week. But teams are up and down, and I'm not buying that. Now that it's December, San Diego is going to shut everyone out and score 50 points. So I think Kevin Smith finds the end zone, gets a few catches out of the backfield, and rushes for 70 or 80 yards. Maybe. My, my three guy, I'm going Lance Ball. That is if McGahee is still kind of banged up. If he's questionable, I'm still going Lance Ball. If he's probable, I'm probably not going Lance Ball. He was Ball. probable this week. Yeah, Lance but, he, Ball. but he got hurt. Yeah. And, and then he got hurt worse this week than last week. So going into this week, if he's if he's questionable, doubtful, I'm picking up Lance Ball. And you give him lump. And my, lump. my last guy is my PPR pick of the week. Like it, If you are in a PPR leg. And you get one, one and a half points for a running back catch. Craig Lumpkin is your pickup this week. Lumpy. Craig Lumpkin, third down back Tampa from the Tampa Day. Bay Buccaneers, goes seven catches for 50 yards and a touchdown like this it. week against Carolina. I'm calling for 20 points I'm for calling Lumpkin. for big points from my boy Lumpkin. That's the goal. That's the nugget of gold. If you're listening and you want to take one shot, one flyer, I do like Lumpkin. If you're the number six seed or the number eight seed like me who beat primetime Pendleton and is moving on, I am picking up and playing Craig Lumpkin this week. I like it. All right, Jim, who are you sitting at the running back position? I'm sitting. I'm not believing the hype on a couple different guys. C.J. Spiller is the number one guy. You're looking at the numbers he put up last week. It's a mirage. He's going against Denver. Denver is these their linebackers mean business. They're hitting people. And not to mention, who else do they have to contain on Buffalo other than C.J. Spiller, who put up big numbers yeah, last week? No, no, nothing in the running game. You know? Nothing in the running game or the passing game. Stevie uh, yeah. Johnson's dinged up. He's still he's still a player, but I'm just saying he, I, they're not going to run on. They're going to shut down C.J. Yeah. Spiller. Correct. I agree. Second guy, Jackie Battle, the one of the most inconsistent players. He's young, so you can't really expect too much from him. The Raiders' defense isn't going to let him go. Don't lose your season playing a guy like Jackie Battle in a game like this. And third guy, Jim, I like it, LaDainian Tomlinson. I asked you during Blog Talk Show if you would play LaDainian Tomlinson. You said no. Even in a PPR league, no. you're still saying no, LaDainian Tomlinson no. sets. Can't go. Sean, it's all about Sean Green It's all right about now. Sean Green. He, you know, he's... He's somebody who early in the season, before he's all banged up and he's all playing, you might get some points from him. But he's 37 years old. He's a running back, however old he is. He's beat up. It doesn't really matter. He's a third down back. He's not worth the risk of what you're going to have to do. All right, so now let's real quick show everybody the true size of our heads. Why are you trying to talk behind me? I'm not. I'm right next to you, dude. All right, that's week 16. Running backs, check us out. Fantasy football overload. We're going to keep it going all through the offseason. Get into some fantasy baseball and uh, get you ready for the NFL draft. I am ready for fantasy baseball. I can't wait. I've been studying. I've been at. We do our off season drafts. We do our free agency. I've been studying up. I'm doing minor leagues. Whatever. Whatever. All right, so check us out. Suicide Fantasy Football. Get ready for Suicide Fantasy Baseball coming soon, too. And check out Blog Talk Radio Monday night, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock. Fantasy Sports Overload. We're going to have Fantasy Sports soon. Overload. 
And if this is the only video you watched, send your pictures of your winning trophies, screenshots, t-shirts, whatever you want. Girl, Jim, let you touch your ass because you won your fantasy league. Whatever. We wow. want some bragging. We want some shit talking from people out there that won their leg.